Mac tutorial tricks. So in this session we are going to see about some modules and methods in table while uh, giving a date and time. So let us look into that. In the previous session we have seen about some uh, methods on the methods right. So now let us see the calendar module in this. So we have already seen this calendar module actually in uh, the modules like uh, pprint, calendar, url lib. All this we have seen right. So let us uh, look into a simple example. So it will have the number of functions in the calendar module. You can look into the other uh, video for the functions, but here we will see a simple example. So, if you want to get the calendar for a particular month, so you will use this module. Only for the particular month, you can get uh, according to your wish. So, here in this example, we are going to get the month, we are going to get the calendar uh, for the December month of 2017. So let us print. So I am importing the calendar module and I am accessing calendar dot month. So I want the month of December of the year 2017. So I am accessing like this. So let me run this program. So I am running this. So I'm, I want the December month calendar. So like this you will get. Uh, on the month's calendar and uh, according to your wish like if you want uh, Thursday first you will get like that so all these functions you will have in a separate module video you can have a look to that so next is time so how can you get the uh, time like here I'm given the one, one, one method is GM time so what is this GM time method will do is it will convert the current time into UTC before returning it. So it will convert and it will return to it. So let us look into this. So if I pass, I'm not passing anything over here. If I pass zero, then you will get zero minutes, zero seconds, zero hours like that. So if I did not pass, so what you will get you can see. So going to print I'm going to print this so print of time dot gm time so I'm accessing this so let me run this so it is giving time structure like year is 2020 month is 7 days 9 hour is 8 Minutes is 19, seconds is 12. In this way, it will give. So, if I pass here 0, you can see what you will get. I will run the program. So, you can see. So, it is showing some different times. So, you, you have seen like hours is 0, minutes is 0, seconds is 0, weekdays is 0. Like this, you will get according to the GM time. So, next thing is, if you want to get the local time in a tuple format so how you will give so like one method is c time method it is same as key time it will give the output like day month followed by date and followed by time with year you will get like this so we will see this uh, in the next uh, in the next method so next one is mk time so what is this mk time is it takes a time tuple as an argument and it will return the seconds so it will take the time here it will take the argument time dot local time if you are not passing this time dot local time you will get an error so it will take this as argument and it will return as ticks or the seconds so see here so you will uh, see that import time and I am going to print time dot mk time and then so I will remove this also. So let me run this, you will convert it. So this is the seconds which 
okay, which uh, according to the local time this is a seconds so this is how you will get so if you are not passing any parameters here so if you are removing this parameter if you are removing this parameter you can see what you will get so let me let run this view so you are getting the error it takes exactly one argument so we have given zero arguments so that it is we are getting error so next one is sleep so this what is this sleep method will do is it will sleep for a few seconds how many seconds you are giving it will sleep for that many seconds and then it will return the value so here i am going to give here print time dot ascii time so as time so just now i have told you right what it will give you will see now so and then i am giving here 2 seconds let it sleep and then after sleeping the 2 seconds then we will get the next output so let me run this so thursday july 9 and then wait for 2 seconds again you got it the output so let me wait for 5 seconds so that you can observe the output so this is what ASC time thursday july 9 and it is waiting for 2 seconds then it is giving the next one output like this so this is what about sleep method then python strp time so this strp time is also like same as strf time so here it will pass the strings it will pass this and it will return a time tuple so here it will take the two arguments one is string the other one is format so we have seen already the formats right in our previous videos we have seen so what is the formats how many formats are there we have seen so here for example here i'm giving time dot strp time come uh, string comma format so this is a string i want to give 31st december 1995 i'm going to give in the string format so, so you can see here within the within the double quotes i'm giving so this is a format which I have told so it will give you the parsing output. Next, coming to the attributes which you have in time module is alt zone, time zone, tz name. Alt zone, time zone, and tz name. So, what is this alt zone will return is it will return the daylight saving time the, depending on the time zones offset. So, what it will return? Daylight saving time. So, it will return the positive value in the west and in the opposite direction, like in the east, it will return the negative value and vice versa, like that. So, if it will return the positive value in the west and it will return the negative value in the east. So, you will access like, so you will uh, work out with time dot alt zone. Just you will give this method. So coming to the time zone. So we have seen alt zone, right? Coming to the time zone, it will return the seconds, and it is it will not consider the DST daylight uh, saving time. It will not consider in this method. Whereas in DZ DZ name. So what is this method will do is it will without considering DST, it will print the local time. So you will just do time dot tz name. So you can run this, and the same way you can do the remaining two. So let me run this. So I'm going to print time dot tz name. I'm going to run. So it is GMT standard time, GMT summer time. So here it is summer time. So it is giving like this. So this is how you can work so next in uh, next is methods in calendar module so you have different methods so you will check whether it is whether the year is a leap year or not with how many days in the leap year like that you will check so first method is days leap year if you want to check whether it is a leap year or not you will give this calendar is leap so let me try with this so you will check whether it is a leap year or not. So 
uh, I should import here calendar module because I'm accessing calendar. So you should give the full year 2019 like this. So let me run this. Will give boolean like true or false. So if you give here 2020. It will return true because 2020 is a leap year. Next, coming to the leap days. So, how many leap days are there in these between these two years? So, I will check this. So, in the year of uh, 1992, 2020, how many leap leap days are there? So, you will get with this method. So there are seven methods. Sorry, seven days. So you will give the first year and the last year. So that it will count the between years and then it will return to you. So next one is first week day. So the one the first, this one returns which is currently set as a first day of the week. So as I have told you, we can set according to our wish. So you can uh, check which day it is set to either it is Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or which day it is so you can have a look so actually it is set to sometimes Monday like that so this is giving zero because I did not set anything if I set any value here then it will give give, give us a value so let me let me take it as four so let me run so it is giving error because it, it it should have two arguments. So we will see that how to give. So set first week day. So how to set? Just now we have told you. So uh, with this you will not set. With the set first week day you want to set this. So here I have uh, set the first week day. And then I have computing the calendar. I'm going to bring the calendar here. So I have a look here. So I'm importing the calendar and I'm setting the first week day to 4. So we know that 0 is Monday and uh, 6 is sa Sunday. Then calendar dot first week day. So I'm setting here 4. And then calendar dot first week day 4 is. So let me let us see the output. So 4 is you can see here Friday. So Monday 1, 2, 3, 4. After the 4 it will give you. So 0 here 1, 2, 3 and 4. 5 and 6. From 0 it is Monday and Sunday is 6. So this is how you will set the calendar week. Then I am trying to print 2018 January calendar. So this is how we will get like this. So what I am doing here is, first thing is I am setting the first week day, that is Friday. And then I am calling the first week day. Then I am printing the month calendar. So that is what I have did here. So the next thing is month. So what is this month? So this you can get the month in the with the parameters like it will take the parameter arguments as year, month, and three is nothing but the characters in the name of the day. Like if you want Monday M O N, so I'm giving here three. If you want four four characters M O N D, I will give four. And this is a width of the uh, line for each week. So this is how you will print the calendar month. So next is calendar. So with the calendar you will get uh, now obviously all the things like that. So it's calendar dot calendar of 2018. So whole calendar you will get with this. 2018 whole calendar you will get. So by using the month calendar you will get the list like this without any weekdays so you will get in a list format next is month range so month range is print calendar dot month range 2017 comma 2018 
12. So what is this? What it will return is it will return a week of the first day of the month and then number of days. So you can have a look at this. It will return the in which week you are in and then so I'm accessing calendar month range calendar dot month range 2017 and 12. So let me see this which month what it will give. So it is giving 4 comma 31. So it is 4 week and 31 days are there in 2017. So next thing is PR Cal. So what is this PR Cal is will skip the print statement for this. Whereas PR month is it prints out the calendar for the specified month. Whereas weekday, it returns which day of the week you are in. So, you are in the first week or second week like that. Next time, GM is it will return the equivalent seconds. Equivalent seconds. You can try all these things. So, next thing is Python date time module. So, what does this date time module it will return is? So, max year. If you, if you use date time dot max year. So it will give you the maximum year 9999, 9999 it will give, whereas a minimum year it will give as 1. And if you want to check which type it is, so you will go with type of date time dot max year comma type of date time dot min year. So it will give you the hint type. So, whereas Python date objects by default it is taking the Georgian calendar, so you are you will use the date, year, month, and day like this. So it will take all arguments so that you can perform whatever the operations you want to perform with this. So we have seen today. Like if you are giving today, what it will give today's date it will give. If it is year, Today, like 2018, this will return the year from a date object. So it will return 2018. It will read this month, it will return which month you are in, and day, it will return the day, which day you are in, and like 28, like that. Even we can replace the dates, years, like that. Even we can replace the hours also with the replace method. So, I am giving here d equal to date time dot date 2018 comma 2 comma 28 and I am going to replace month with 3 and day with 1 and I am going to print d. So, you will get it as 2018 comma 3 comma 1 like this. So, next thing is time tuple. What is this time tuple will return is it will return a tuple of attributes for the current local time in the tuple format. So next is weekday, which weekday you are in. ISO calendar is according to the ISO format, you will get the calendar. So 2018, 9, 3 according to the format you will get ISO format. So this is the ISO format. So, whereas string method, so what it will return is, it will return the current local time, local date. What is a local date? It will return in the string format. So, C time, C, so what is this C, C time means? Uh, it will return the current date in a local format like this. So, we can also perform addition. We can also perform logical operations also less than or greater than comparison like that. So we can Python time objects coming to the time object. We can replace the time uh, like uh, the before what we have seen here like this. Like we have replaced the month with uh, the other month, right? So here also we can replace and we can get the time, time, date time, not time off like this. So you can get the minimum time, maximum time, resolution also you can get. So what is this resolution is, it will return the smallest possible difference between non-equal time objects. 
So by using time dot delta, you will get the resolution, and we can access the hover from that minutes, seconds, microseconds. All this we have seen in our previous session, right? So you can have a look. So T Z info also we have seen. So what is this T Z info will return is it will the this will return whatever we pass as T Z info into the object while creating it. If we did not return anything, it will return zero. Whereas for with the for method you can replace even with the replace method we can replace T dot replace hover equal to twenty two like this. As we have seen in in previous example, and this is the ISO format. This is a string method, which we have seen all the things just now. So this is about the methods and modules in the time uh, daytime module. So this is what about this uh, daytime. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.